Welcome to Electron Line, and now we're going to take a look at a multi energy state system. So, what we're trying to do here is try to figure out the number of microstates in such a multi energy state system. And to keep things in a general sense, what we're going to, what we're going to do here is define that there's n particles distributed over n energy levels or n energy states. So, in this case, we're going to do an example where we have four energy states, and in this case, we're going to also have three particles, but it doesn't matter, we can do it for any number of particles and any number of energy states. There are, however, some conditions that need to be met, some constraints. The first constraint is that we have a total number of particles, so the number of particles are conserved and represents the total number of particles, so when we calculate all of the particles with each of the, that are in each of the energy state, they should always add up to the total number of particles, so that's one condition. The second condition is that if we add up the energy of each particle, it should add up to the total amount of energy in the total system. So if we let u equal the total energy in the system, that is then therefore conserved, energy must be conserved. So if we multiply the amount of energy of each particle, uh, the amount of energy that each particle has, if we add up all the energies of each particle, it should add up to the total energy of the whole system. All right, so let's say here that we have three particles. So we have A, B, and C, and maybe I should put an S on there, so three particles, A, B, and C, and four energy states, it can be an energy state 0, E, 2E, and 3E, so they're integer multiples of E, and the total energy is constrained to be U equals 3E, so that's the total energy of the system. So how many microstates and how many microstates are there? Well, we have three microstates, we have labeled them 1, 2, and 3, and we'll see in just a moment why. If there's a total, number, a total amount of energy of 3 times E, that can be accomplished if each particle, if one of the particles contains that total amount of energy and the other particles contain zero energy. So you can see there's three different ways in which this can be arranged. Either particle A has all of the energy, particle B has all of the energy, or particle C has all the energy. So that's considered the microstate specification. There's three different ways in which the, this can happen. So for this one microstate, in which two particles have no energy and one particle has all of the energy, there can be three different ways in which this can be arranged and therefore the thermodynamic probability is three and since there's a total of 10 different microstates that then represents 0.3 probability that the particles will be in this particular energy state. Again, if all energy states can be, can be um, if all particles can be in each energy state in an equal probability. The second microstate label is we have one particle with no energy, one particle with 1e amount of energy, and one particle with 2e amount of energy. So if that's the case, we have six different ways in which this can happen. Particle A can have 2e, particle B can have e, particle C can have 0. You can see that then can be arranged as 2e, 0, and e. e, 2e, 0, e, 0, 2e, 0, e, 2e, and 0, 2e, E. So there's six different ways in which you can arrange the particles in such a way that one particle has no energy, one particle has one E amount of energy, and one particle has two, amount of, two E amount of energy. Since there's a limit to how much energy the whole system can have, there therefore has to be zero particles that have three times the energy, because that can no longer then happen. And so there's six different ways in which it can happen. The thermodynamic probability is six, and therefore the Mathematical probability is 0.6, there's 60% chance that the system will be in one of these microstates, therefore in this particular microstate. And finally, the last possible microstate is where we have zero particles with no energy. All three particles have 1e energy, none of the particles have 2e energy, and none of the particles have 3e amount of energy. So therefore there's only one way in which this can be arranged. E, E, and E, so each particle has E amount of energy, adds up to 3E, there's therefore only one way in which that can be done, that's the thermodynamic probability, and the mathematical probability is 10% chance that you'll find the system in this state. So there's 10 different ways in which the particles can be arranged with the energy, so that the total energy will not exceed 3E, and that the states are, energy states are 0, E, 2E, and 3E. You can see three different microstates, there are 10 different microstates, three microstates in the first microstate, six microstates in the second microstate, and one microstate in the third microstate. And that's how we then arrange the possibilities of these particles having the different energies 
the different energy states in this particular system. And that's how it's done.